Hi guys, this is Ted, Surfshop Natural High, and today I want to talk about how to choose the right winter wetsuit. So there are four things you want to consider when buying your new wetsuit. First of all, how do I choose the right size? What kind of thickness am I choosing? What kind of sports I'm going to use it for? And what's my budget? But first of all, let's talk about the basics. So before choosing your right wetsuit, you need to know a little bit about the basics and how a wetsuit is uh, manufactured. So nowadays, almost all wetsuits and definitely winter wetsuits have GBS stitching. So that's uh, GBS stands for glued blind stitched. So here on the outside, you'll see uh, a stitching, but on the inside, you only see a seam that is glued. So what they do, they seam the wetsuit, but only go halfway through the material and then go back up again. So you don't have a wetsuit ending up with a thousand holes uh, on the seams because they glue it. So your wetsuit is more or less watertight. So this is definitely a must when buying a winter wetsuit. Then another feature is uh, a taping on the inside. So you see, same as the wetsuit I just showed you, it has a GBS, so it has the stitching on the outside. But then after the GBS, uh, elastic tape is glued onto the seams on the inside. So it's still stretchy, but it's even more watertight. Uh, and therefore your wetsuit is even warmer. Then you see, nowadays you see a lot of wetsuit with a different jersey on the inside. So all these different kinds of jerseys, all have the same purpose. And that's keeping you warm. This one is really soft. So all these, so every brand uses a different jersey, but as I said, they all have the same purpose. It's keeping you warm, feeling comfort, nice on the skin, and most of the times even dry quite fast. So then every wetsuit or every brand has its range and the range um, from cheap up to really expensive. So for example, to start with a basic model um, and in winter we choose to not run the basic, basic versions because we think they're too cold for winter time, definitely in uh, Northern Europe. Um, so a basic entry level winter wetsuit here at Surfshop Nature High uh, starts with uh, a completely GBS wetsuit and most of the times uh, even with a, a little jersey on the back um, and sometimes on the front, not on this one. Then, if you go one step higher, you will see a wetsuit like this that is fully taped, so it has a GBS, it has the elastic tape on the inside and you already see a lot more jersey that keeps you a little warmer. Then if you go even up in price a little higher again you see the same features a GBS, a complete taping on the inside and a different kind of jersey. Um, this uh, so Manira chooses to not do it over the full suit but for example if you check out the Rip Girl you see that it's completely covered in the, uh, the jersey that keeps you really, really warm. So why choose a wetsuit that has a jersey like this? So if you're searching for warmth and comfort, this is the way to go. If you're looking for, for example, a little more sports car, and a sports car doesn't have the best heating, but goes really fast and is very light, a wetsuit like this or an e-boom from rip curl so less panels less jersey because the jersey is most of the times a little less stretchy and when wet definitely a little bit more heavy so we started this video with four things you want to consider when buying your new wetsuit so first what kind of sports you're going to use it for for example, if you're going to do a lot of wind-driven sports, so kitesurfing, windsurfing, or, or winging, 
you can consider buying a brand like Mystic or Manera because they are a little bit more wind oriented and have, uh, for example, if you see here, some holes at the ankles um, and a Velcro to put over the suit. So all the water that comes in from uh, down below can go out again. And definitely in winter time, um, when you have the Velcro on the ankles over the booties, it's very, very nice and comfortable. So the second thing you want to consider is when are you going to use it? Are you going to go all winter long or are you going to... Uh, or are you only, uh, uh. <laughs> the second thing you want to consider is uh, when are you going to use it? Are you going to go all winter long or only pre-season uh, when the water is still cold but the outside temperature is already uh, uh, going up? Because therefore you have the option in thickness. For example, if you only go pre-season and maybe end of this season when uh, the outside temperature is getting already colder but the water is still quite warm you can consider choosing a, a five mil wetsuit maybe even without a hood without a hood and if it's getting a little bit colder or uh, you want to start in april but it's been a cold winter you can have an add-on um, for example in a separate hood uh, and of course some booties um, or you can consider buying a hooded wetsuit, but in a five mil. If you want to go all winter long, there is also the option in having the same wetsuit, but in a six mil version. Although I think a six mil is really, really, really warm nowadays. A thicker wetsuit is also more heavy has a little less stretch. So for me personally, I prefer to have a hooded, a warm hooded wetsuit, but I, I stay with the five mil and go all winter long. So every brand has um, hooded wetsuits, uh, a five mil, a six mil, or a five mil without a hood. And then maybe, but then uh, consider buying a, a separate hood to stay warm. So the third thing is how to choose your right size. So on our website, we have brand specific, uh, a size guide uh, online. So you can check that out. Um, for me personally, I know I always have a large, but some brands fit me a little bit better than the other because every brand has a little bit different or their own sizing. Your wetsuit need to, needs to fit really well. Um, if the wetsuit fits you well, it will definitely perform better and will, will, will keep you warm uh, for a longer period. So definitely the first few times your wetsuit <gasps> must feel like this because it will become a little bit bigger or stretched out uh, after a few times uh, using. So the last thing I want to talk about is budget. Because when buying your new wetsuit um, and you want to have the best performing wetsuit, it also comes with a price. Um, so if you want to have the most comfortable, warmth, um, nice on the skin, quick drying wetsuit, um, think about spending at least five to six hundred euros. If you're not willing or not able to uh, spend that amount of money on a wetsuit, Nowadays, uh, most of the brands even make hooded wetsuits in a little bit more basic model. For example, Mystic, but also Rip Curl, and also Sea Skins have really, really good value for money hooded wetsuits that you can use all winter long, still have jersey, still have some taping, um, hooded, five millimeters. So when you're a little bit more on the tighter budget, it's definitely worth considering uh, a hooded version in um, not top level suit. 
So in summary, we talked about the basics of wetsuits. You know a little bit how a, a wetsuit is manufactured, about the lining, about what keeps you warm, uh, about the stretch panel layout whatsoever. So I hope this helps you uh, choosing the right wetsuit that fits you the most. Um, of course, in wintertime, you not only need a wetsuit, you need booties, you need maybe a separate hood if you don't have a hooded wetsuit. Um, you need gloves. So check out our winter wetsuit guide blog because there we have all the information about all the wetsuits. Um, you can read uh, everything we just discussed in this video and uh, you can read a lot more about all the accessories. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call, write us an email, uh, and I send a pigeon over here with a message, um, or come by in one of our shops. We have a full wetsuit range uh, in both of our stores. So hope to see you soon and hope to see you in the water. Ciao, ciao.